evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Confession of the Cooperators, where you confess all of your troubles to us, and we confess ours to you. B! <laughs> oh my god. We're Wait, watching... does it bounce back? It does. Oh yeah, bitches! I just like reaction to B! I already did that, uh, I didn't, oh, it wasn't that. Yeah, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. It wasn't an episode, it was a flash animation, but it was part of the episode, I think it was from, uh, Time Crisis, Raging Storm, which we gotta do again, by the way, because, you know, we gotta get, you know, better. Uh, but in that episode, Time Crisis, Raging Storm, we, um, I was talking about, like, how, we were talking about, like, how, how people react to a bee, and how our mind premises, oh, yeah, how, that's we actually right. see a bee. So, in reality, the bee just wants to, like, you know, fuck a, fuck a flat. what the hell was that? That is Mankey Kong. He's an, he's an evil Kong. He's not part of the he Kong looks, clan. He, he looks like King... I can't remember his name. From, um, The Jungle Book? Yeah. I wanna walk like you, talk like you. That, the King, whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, he does. You know who I'm talking about, right? I don't yeah. Remember, I don't remember his name, though. You, I wanna be like you. I wanna walk like you, talk like you. Something like that, I can't remember. I can't remember yep. the movie. I still haven't seen the new movie, ironic enough. See, they like... Fucking the industry is like, hey, let's take this great movie that was like done so and so amount of years ago and is for kids and let's like take a weird spin on it. Well, they made it into a live action movie, which, eh, like I said, I haven't seen it yet, so I can't judge. It's a weirdest fuck spin. Probably. I mean, the new one that's coming out, you got the, um, uh, Beauty and the, Bre the, Beauty and the Beast. I'll go to Cranky Kong. Oh, fuck Cranky Kong. He They're only offers level advice. Well, it's nice to- I just like to- I like Clem! To... Clem! Clem! Oh, God. The new one that's coming out, Beauty and the Beast. I mean, with Emma Watson as Beauty, I mean, I don't know. I was, I'm, I'm hit or miss with it, but no, no, don't get me wrong. I had nothing, nothing against Emma Watson. She is fucking gorgeous. I just, like, I- you know what it is? I just can't, I can't see her. Secret. I can't see her as Belle. Like, it's a little difficult for me to see her as Belle, because I- I don't know. I imagine Belle- Hi, I was in a porn movie. Let me be Belle. What? I, I, I don't know, I'm just talking out my ass. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, sure, let's get a porn star to play Belle. Like, I don't know, that, that I still can't even- Well, yeah, actually, yeah, I can see that one, damn it. Actress and then on the un, the unreleased fucking private section, it's like, Yeah, Beast, give it to me, and then, the, and then Beast is just like, <laughs> By the way, he's eating her out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you know what? I was actually watching the Game Grumps, but I was watching an older episode. Oh, not an older episode, I was watching one of the animated episodes where uh, they were talking about, like, uh, Game Grumps, sex advice for everyone. So what you're gonna want to do is, you're gonna want to go- when you go down on a girl, you're gonna have to, like, you know, use every single tongue you have, you're just going <laughs> Just spell out the alphabet within her vagina, just <laughs> Then, you want to put your head to her vagina, uh, and scream very loud to it, going COME! DO IT! COME! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Oh, I showed that to my, uh, my fiancé and she was like, You're never going near my vagina ever again. <laughs> oh shit. No, you know what's fun? Um, you know, you know when Ace Ventura, when, um, he was like eating with the lions or whatever? You know guys, can't let this all go to waste. Nom, 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 yeah, that. yeah. What's funny is when you're going down on a girl and, you, and like, that's, that's what it's no, like, no, 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 no. You, you like lick it from the bottom up and you're like, mm. and then like just there's a short pause and then you do what he did. <laughs> it's like, mm. and just got like that girl going, oh. and you just go, nom, 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 and it's just like, oh. yeah, basically. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Trying to do like uh, imitating a girl's voice. <laughs> You're fucking Michael McDonald now. <laughs> oh, that, you're right. I just pull up a Michael McDonald's. <laughs> I think Michael McDonald having an orgasm. <laughs> Clay, I'm oh, sitting. Man. What the fuck? You could have just went through all this. Wow, what the fuck? This is Bumblebee Rumble. This is. That is a big fucking bee. Fuck you. He's angry. He's like, this, is, this is my bro. My barrel, my barrel, my barrel. Oh, no, oh, boys, oh, my barrel. Oh, 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 I'm guessing you can't. Oh, oh. I take it you can't attack him when he's red. No, come on, come on. You want the red, stick? You want the stick? The blood of angry oh. man. Red, you know what? You know what? I want to die. Dark of ages past. Red. Na, da, da, da. I'm trying to remember the lyrics to that one. I want to die. I want to beat it with you. Fucking uh, lame as a rob. All right, so 
you were saying? I don't know, I was just singing Les Miserables. Do you hear the people sing, singing the songs of angry man? Through the trees, through the trees. That's not from Les Mis, uh, by the way. It's not. You know, ironic enough, I still have not seen the new Les Miserables with um, uh, uh, Hugh Jackman. I heard it's really... I heard it's really good because, you know, Hugh Jackman's just, you know, fucking awesome. Uh, but in all honesty, my favorite Les Mis movie... Hey. Are you okay? Yeah. My favorite Les Mis movie is probably the one with Liam Neeson and uh, Jeffrey Rush. Because, I don't know, for some reason I got a problem with, like, watching movies where they're singing. Because I can't, I, I don't know, for some reason I just can't take the movie seriously. Like, I know it's based I, on the you know what I <laughs> the What is that long-ass movie where it has the little name song in it? The title? The Phantom of the Opera? No, like, s something singing. It's like four hours long or whatever. Something singing? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What's it called? Uh, wait. It's like the joys of singing or something like that. The, the music. Uh, something that's just... Everything is sung in the whole fucking movie. Is it an old movie or a new movie? I think it's kind of old. Shit. Then I don't know. Hair? No. Speaking of hair. Well, it's a, that's a broad, that's well, I mean, I don't know if it's a Broadway show, but I know it was an old show. No, it was a, it was a movie. Godspell. I mean, I don't fucking know. The Joy of Singing. It's so, like, if you look for, like, that in Google, that's what it was. I was forced to endure that when I was trying to get some puss. What? I sat through four hours of a shitty movie to try and get laid. And you know, that's how guys are. We'll, we'll, we will do... This has been our family feud, by the way. <laughs> Name, wait, wait, wait. Name something that a guy will do to get some puss. It's like, what will a man do for sex? <laughs> he, he will... Oh, I my will, God. It's like, I love family feud. Yeah, at the end of it, Steve Hart was like, Yes, you don't know how deep this runs with us. At the end of the day... We'll, we'll, we'll fight for sex, we'll kill for it, we'll lie for it, we'll beg for it, and at the end of it, we'll lay down our life for it. <laughs> the fuck? So wait, what you did- okay, so please elaborate on your side of the story. What happened again? I just tried to watch the movie to get laid, and it didn't end up in getting laid, and I was like, I hate this fucking movie now. <laughs> so you have, like, full resentment for that movie now. The, I don't even know what the hell- what is it called? The Joy of Singing? A Joy of Song? Or whatever? Something like that shit. I don't even know. We gotta, I gotta look that up, but I don't know. Well, where's your phone? Somewhere. Alright. So, wait, who you, Was it someone that I know or that you were trying to get laid with or no? No. I was say, it's just some random girl. Was this, the, this wasn't in the movie theater. This is like you were going to her house just to bang her and then. Yeah, it's. And she was like saying, hey, you let's know, watch I, this, I was this, thinking to myself. Let's watch this four, it's a four hour movie? Uh, I, it felt like four hours. It, it's more than two, I know that. And the whole time I was watching it, I was saying. Maybe. The whole time I was watching it, I, I was saying to myself, it can't be worth it. <laughs> it just can't be. And then you find out it wasn't worth it at all whatsoever due to the fact that she didn't do anything to you. Did she want you to do something during the movie? No. Fuck you. No. Wait, me. <laughs> me like, what the fuck? No, because sometimes girls are like that, like, let me put on a shitty, boring movie, and, and so, like, maybe- You want to feel me up during the movie? No, I would rather actually feel you up with no movie on, because I just want to go- <laughs> <laughs> So, like, in the background, you're hearing, like, you're hearing, uh, that fucking song, da 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 while you're going- <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, so, you want to hear a funny story that I- This one, I made up, and my friends fucking believe it, and they laughed. I told them about how I secretly stuck my dick in a girl's ass without warning, and like, sh she got upset. So the premise of the story was, we were fucking, and then I, s I pulled out, and then I switched to anal. And- Oh, so you have done anal? No, it, it was oh, a made-up story. That was- that's what she thought. It was the made-up- no, it was a made-up story. The, the wait, situation never happened. How did the- wait, how did the story even- wait, was the story- like I was just making it up just to tell a story. So what happened was- the story goes, I was fucking a girl, I pulled out, and then I switched to anal. And the moment I switched to anal, she said, ow, you fucker, pulled out a dildo and shoved it up my ass. And then in turn, when that happened, Spongebob went on on TV and you heard, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? What the fuck? Is this even a real story now? I'm no! 
Wait, so what actually uh, happened? Can you imagine life? someone shoves a dildo up your ass and then on the TV you hear, Oh, <laughs> who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Wait, so I'm confused. What's the real story then? You there is no story. No, you said that you accidentally... I said I made it up. Oh. Because, I mean, my scenario was that the fact that I accidentally... I don't remember, I think it was like the first or second, like, it was like, it, we were in the single digits of having sex, basically, like, it's like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time Fucking hell. of us having sex, and as I'm going really fast, I accidentally pulled out too much, now, I didn't go all the way in, I, like, my head, like, crashed into her anus, where... When you say crash, I can't, I can't help but think of okay. a crash test dummy. <laughs> it didn't... Like, go like there's a giant rectum on the- that's what the wall is. It didn't penetrate, but it- Yeah, that's but, what the but, wall is! It didn't penetrate, but it penetrated enough that she was bleeding a little. Now, I thought it was her vagina that was bleeding, but apparently it was her anus. Like, oh, shit. Well, That's fuck. okay, I bleed every time I use the bathroom. Now, ironic enough, this is actually the same girl, uh, that I did do anal with. And now it wasn't like after like oh after that incident then let's let's do it no it was basically like a let's do it again. It was basically like after a while she wanted to try it out and I wanted to try it out so yeah we gotta do that so I had to lube the shit up. I think I used not so, I, you're not supposed to use baby oil but I used that because that's that all that I one had. That fucking barrel. So you know what's. You know what I think of anal? What I think of it, it's like the creation or idea of anal. It's like hey you know what would be a really good idea. <laughs> That's like a dick up someone's ass. I want you to take your dick, and instead of putting it in my vagina, I want you to shove it in the hole in my body where I excrete fecal waste. Well, the reason why is because it's much tighter. It's like, I probably won't feel any pleasure. I, it will probably mostly I, be pain. Ironic enough, a lot of girls actually do find that pleasurable. I know, but that's the point. Not all of them do. Oh, no, no, not all of them. They, 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 they're, the idea of it... First off, only cr they, 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 the idea of it already makes them cringe. Some girls, they're like saying, that actually is quite pleasurable when I actually tried it. One like, at first I was like, oh, I'm a little bit worried. And then I tried like, holy shit, this actually is pretty nice. I don't know where the pleasure is coming from, but apparently they, they find it pleasurable. So whatever floats their boat, I like it. It's nice and tight. And I've only done it one time and I'm not complaining at all whatsoever. So I think we should end that topic of sex because I think we used up all of our sex talk last year so now this year i think we're gonna, i think we already used it up so we can't whatever next time in the cooperators we're gonna continue with some more doggy kong country so we'll see you next time we're gonna reach from the stars tonight.